This is Shelton R Benjamin. This is Harley Race. This is Mick Foley. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster of Business. This is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Wrestling fans from around the corner and around the world. Welcome to another installment of Wrestling Insiders. I'm Dan Marotti here at MWF Studios, Melrose, Massachusetts. We have a real treat for you tonight as we flash back to the 50th annual Cauliflower Alley Club reunion in Las Vegas, Nevada this past April. We have the legendary Larry the Axe Henning being presented with the Iron Mike Mazurki Award, truly one of the highlights of the entire reunion. The Cauliflower Alley Club is a nonprofit fraternal organization comprising of both retired and active professional wrestlers, boxers, and actors. It's an outstanding organization that truly gives back to the backbone of this industry, that being the great veterans that paved the way for every generation. Whether it's veterans that might be ill or needing a helping hand during a difficult period in life, or even the unfortunate need of paying for wakes and funerals, the Cauliflower Alley Club is there for the Brotherhood, and that's very, very important. I attended my first Cauliflower Alley Club reunion in 1995 when I was a baby-faced high school kid and have been a member since 2002. I implore you to head over to caulifloweralleyclub.org to learn more about what the CAC is, what the CAC does, and how you can be a part of it. Our 51st reunion is going to take place in Sin City in April 2016. If you go once, you're never going to want to miss another one. CAC is an organization I deeply care about. We've tried to be good soldiers here in Boston with the Millennium Wrestling Federation raising cash to help the cause when we've been able to over the years. It's provided us with some great memories and even better friends. That's what this business is all about at its core, folks. The boys in the brotherhood. Wrestling is a very complicated genre, but when you break it down to the core, you break it down to the human beings. Human beings chasing and living the dream, having adventures like you couldn't imagine unless you lived it yourself. We've all been very blessed. Before we get going, fans, we'd love for you to take advantage of some of the great offers we have here at Boston Wrestling as well as from our partners that we team up with so we can continue to bring you more and more great free professional wrestling content. WWE Network is going to be available to new subscribers absolutely free for the month of June. That includes WWE Money in the Bank this Sunday night, June the 14th, as well as recent big events such as Elimination Chamber, Payback, NXT TakeOver Unstoppable, and thousands of hours more in the WWE archives. It's unbelievable. It's the best value in pro wrestling media. Click on the link below on our YouTube page and start enjoying the WWE Network now for the month of June. Also, don't forget that you can help Boston Wrestling by using our special links for both Amazon.com and WWEShop.com. No matter what you buy, even non-wrestling merchandise on Amazon, we get a small percentage of your purchase, and it doesn't increase your cost one single cent. We bring you tons of free content each week and need some help to keep the train rolling. Don't feel like shopping? We have a PayPal account, folks. You can send a donation of any denomination, a dollar, two dollars, a thousand dollars, whatever you like, using the email address bw at bostonwrestling.com. We'd love to send you a shout-out for helping grow our library for fans around the world to enjoy. We'd also be very happy if you joined us by subscribing for free to our YouTube channel. We're starting to close in on 800 free videos for your viewing pleasure. If you enjoy what you see, please share it with friends. And most importantly, click the like button on each video that you watch so YouTube will showcase our giant library to more and more of your professional wrestling fans. All right, this is a special time for me because I have the privilege uh, introducing a guy who I have great respect and admired, have worked for him in territories, and he's one of my heroes. And I can only be talking about the eight times world heavyweight champion, Mr. Harley Race. Harley, come on.
it's a little bit different uh, having to ride around in one of these than it was being able to travel anywhere in the world and go in the ring and wrestle for an hour or whatever they wanted. But I'm here. Thank you all. I'm here to pick up the Iron Mike Award. Larry the Axon, if you would get off of your rear end. <laughs> and walk up this direction, I would be very, very happy to present this to you because there is not a person involved in wrestling that deserves it any more than you do. that we defended our title and we won. 447 And I was in the real estate business. I built them a house in Maple Grove. We wrote it out on a napkin. When we got finished, the house didn't have any closets. <laughs> but you got over that. Uh, I think there's a couple things I, that you should know that's very important. That Bobby Heenan has an all-black dog and he named him Spot. <laughs> I, I, I thought that would be of some interest. <laughs> and I'd like to... Uh, Carl Klingman, that we kind of haven't said a word about, the George Petrogas and, and Luthez Wrestling Hall of Fame where Harley Race and myself are in the Hall of Fame. My son Kurt is in the Hall of Fame. We were the first father and son. That's a great, great honor because uh, uh, Luth has and Harley Race and some other fellows, but Carl Klingman is the guy that makes it work. And, uh, He's really a great guy, okay? Uh, I got the uh, uh, people were calling me the killer. Every time I go to a new territory, they call me the killer. But it was because of well, my, not my wrestling, but I killed the territory. <laughs> How about the individuals? <laughs> you know, uh, Las Vegas, when I get up over 5,000 feet in the air, I can't pee. <laughs> but don't tell anybody about this, please. Uh, so we landed in Las Vegas, and I had to head for the door and down the concourse, down the hallway, and I made it there. So I know where the slogan comes. Uh, if you do something in Las Vegas, no one will tell anybody about it. So that's the more good information. Okay. This place is sold out. I haven't sold a place out since 19, 1985.
Fred Harvey helped. And of course, my friend Ed, she's here. And, and, and I gotta say something. Stand up, Ed, would you please? Good hand up, Ed. He was a gentleman, he was a scholar, and he was a good friend of my son, Kirk. What a day, what a place, and what a crowd. That was a compliment. <laughs> the things that I, before, before I go any further, there's a few things that I didn't do this by myself or just with Harley. Uh, Irene, would you stand up for a second, please? Irene, would you come up here? <laughs> Give her a hand, folks. <laughs> you know, she doesn't look that big, but I'm going to tell you something. She won a six-day bicycle race in three days. You figure that one out. And <laughs> so we're gonna do this today, are we? Our brothers, 
And I'll tell you what happened. We went to town one day and we stole a bicycle. And by the time we got home, our father found out that we had stole the bicycle. And when we hit the door, he hit the door and we took off running. And he said, when I catch you, I'm going to tan your hide. I got away. <laughs> I thought it was funnier than that. But it's... <laughs> I had to stop playing golf because of my back and some injuries. I took an awful lot of bumps when Harley and I were tag team partners. That's a lie. <laughs> I was known more as surface transportation wrestler, <laughs> and I hardly did a lot of aerial stuff. So I can't play golf anymore, so I decided to go bowling, and, and then you can ask me, why did you take up bowling? Why did you take up bowling? Because the ball comes back to me. <laughs> Actually, me. I want to thank some other people that were really instrumental. Uh, Lou Sez, Red Bastines, and uh, I don't, I got to tell you about my master, Roddy Piper. We had, he had his first match with me in Winnipeg and it went about 17 seconds. It wouldn't have went that long, but I had to stop and retie my shoe. Okay? Of course, we talked about Red Bastine. Oh, Dick Byers. Where's Dick Byers? <laughs> Dick, it's over. <laughs> I'm telling you, God damn it, it's over. I'm going to tell you something. I go in the shit house, you got your mask on. <laughs> But anyway, he's everywhere. Doesn't anybody know that he is Dick Byer? <laughs> and he pulled it off. Then I see him one day without his mask on. I took back everything I said about <laughs> Okay. I'd like to end this because some of this was boring tonight and some was pretty good. <laughs> I wanted to go to Las Vegas and I wanted to sing for a full house and I want the audience <laughs> hang around baby so here's how this is going to go I, I want to hear yippee I -O. come on come on yippee I -O. Open right now, one dark and windy day. A potter and she rested as he went along his way. When all at once somebody heard him run at cows he saw falling through the ragged sky and ended up a cloudy draw. Come on! <laughs> now the burning blue bird is shining and I heard him call my name. Come on, dear. If you want to save your soul from hell, I'm on my ring. When cowboy change your ways today, I'll you the light. I'm the devil's burning.
before, before they run off, I want to ask Rob Schoenberger to please come up here. Larry, thank God you learned how to wrestle. <laughs> Thank you. We were proud of applause to the artist. 